Okay, folks, let's get this started right now. Guaranteed second, third place between Rodney Morris and Wayne Pullen. Wayne Pullen just got out of a four-hour match with Rafael Martinez for the hot seat. It is now up to Rodney Morris. And uh, <laughs> it's up to Rodney and Wayne <coughs> to uh, see if they can handle Rafael. The winner of this match will play Rafael for, for the finals of the very first Hard Times One Pocket Open here at Hard Times Billiards in Bellflower, California. Here we go with the break by Rodney Morris in a race to two. This is Daniel Bush, and I'm sitting here with Box. For more information on this event, you can visit povpool.com. Please like and subscribe on uh, our YouTube channel. Plenty of more matches where this came from. So who do you like, Box? We've seen Rodney play really well in this event. I like Rodney because of his heart. He's not going to pass up a shot that he can pocket a ball. Well, I've seen both of these other guys pass up obvious shots. Rodney's not going to pass up nothing. Well, I kind of like Rodney, too, for some, most of those reasons. Um, uh, but also, let's not forget that uh, Rodney also played Wayne, I'm sorry, Rafael Mar Martinez earlier today, a race of three. It was a lot faster. Uh, I will say that, to Wayne's credit, you know, he's the only guy that can hold him down for four hours. So... Well, he didn't hold him down. He hold all, He held the whole room down for <laughs> four hours. <laughs> Running to get a shot, he gone. He is not going to be playing. Running trying to get to the 10 ball. That's where he wants to be. This here is just a novelty to him. That's right, uh, there is a 10 ball tournament uh, which is uh, officially going to be closed for entries tomorrow. We're gonna start some of the first rounds today. It'll be a 32 player bracket and there's still time to take an entry or two. If you're interested in uh, entering, you can call Dave Hemma at 310-892-0908. It's funny, I, I, I've never seen Rodney stare at a stack like that because he plays nine ball and ten ball so much. <laughs> yeah, right. He, he really doesn't play a lot of one pocket, but from what we've seen, actually, you know, for a rotation player like Rodney, he's, uh, he's held his own all the way through this 25-player bracket. Losing only to Rafael Martinez, who is in the hot seat. Wayne is probably pretty exhausted from this last match that he just had. Rodney wasn't uh, satisfied or happy with all that chalk. on the table. You know, some tips grind that chalk to a fine powder, and some tips don't. One that comes to mind is that uh, Elk Master. That Elk Master works a piece of chalk to death. Rodney has one ball. Wayne made a mistake. He was trying to kick underneath that four ball. He ended up moving the four closer to Rodney's pocket. Rodney is now going to capitalize on this. 
Rodney has two. With only one ball. Rodney has two. Wayne is now missing, and he can't afford to miss. Uh, that's probably, that's probably going to cost him the rack. He might not lose this rack in this inning, but that mistake is going to be what cost him the rack if he loses. So you're right, going to be getting out of here. He's going to try. Mm. Oh, my goodness. Are okay. both players tired? <laughs> you know, Rodney, you got to remember, a lot, of, a lot of people don't realize this. And I got a friend that's left handed like Rodney. A left handed person sees the balls entirely different than a right hand mm -hmm. person. Mm -hmm. So, my friend, I told him. When you're in certain positions, switch and look from the right side. Mm -hmm. It'll give you a different, a different view of mm -hmm. the shot, mm -hmm. which will help you make a better decision on the left side when you go to pocket it. Interesting. Wayne was pl playing that five to squirt out off the rail. That's a very good shot, but he needed to actually hit that a little harder. He could have he could have actually made the seven by doing that. So uh, one ball a piece extra for uh, both players. That's a three games to one. I mean three balls to one. Wayne Cullen trails, and now we have a new situation. So Wayne was lucky not to lose the game after that first mistake he made. Three to two, wouldn't it? balls and Matt Wayne make one or two. It's three to two because the Rodney ball. made Rodney made his four and then uh, Wayne made his seven ball. Or no Wayne Wayne made another ball for him right. when he tried to squirt the five right. across the rail. Right. So it is four to, it's three to two. Three to two. Last ball Wayne pocketed was the seven ball. Mm -hmm. Well, Rodney pocketed, put him in a stack, seven ball. Point and shoot like a Polaroid, sir. He 
we missed it. Wayne loves these shots. Rodney's shooting at his hole. Good shot by Wayne. Four to three count. Rodney four, Wayne three. First rack, race to two. He left Wayne, he left Wayne, left front the cross corner. First game goes to Rodney.
Wayne's break. Rodney won that one. It's okay, break. Rodney can get out of it. Using the through six ball or the twelve ball. Rodney. right now. One game to Rodney, second rack. Race to two. Rodney tried to cross corner. Looked like it left Wayne a 10 ball. If Wayne can settle down a little bit, he might be able to pocket this 10 ball and pick up the 15. 
when he got a stroke it. Good shot. Rodney was unaware if you can, if two Abidu balls could touch. And that's what the exchange was about between him and Wayne. Try to a shot. Yeah. Wayne might be a little weak right now. Whoa. Oh, he got a lucky kiss off the 12. His cue ball went a little wild. kick. Wayne three, Rodney one. Halfway there, if he needs four balls. You know, Wayne plays nine ball, too. But the way he plays one pocket, he doesn't look like a nine ball player. Ball count. As far as I know, it's now 5-1. 
Wayne needs three. I think he's looking to stop this ball and play the bank on the 11 or four. Playing for two, six to one. Wayne's playing for one. You sure about that? Is there? Wayne's playing for two. That's a good shot by Wayne instead of trying to cross that ball. Ronnie's looking at the 11 and the 13. Seven balls on the table, six two, six to Wayne, two to Rodney. Race to two, Rodney, one game up. Good shot. The four ball got him tinny hook. He came back to six, so he's got to play on the four. Yeah. 
I don't know if Rodney can see the six ball two rails. Eleven ball. I don't know how close that six ball is down there on Brunswick Boulevard, but it looked like it's froze from where I'm sitting. No players called it froze. Good shot. <laughs> Riley didn't call the six ball froze. Six balls on the table. Count six to three. Wayne was playing with scratching that time.
You know, it's funny <laughs> that Rodney plays such a good cue ball that he's actually perfect for this game, you know. If he, if he had a passion for one pocket, he could no patience. really make some waves. I think he has more patience than he looks like he has. You know, he looks frustrated a lot, but he plays good. Nice shot, Rodney Scratch. Ball count, six to two. Wayne missed five spot shots. Five. Wayne Pollen, ladies and gentlemen. Another Hill Hill match for you. <laughs> hill 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 Hill. Good luck to both <clears throat> you guys. It's Rodney's break now. Game count one and one. Race to two. Rafael Martinez in the hot seat, waiting to play the winner of this match. I want to thank Andy Cloth for providing us with this quality equipment here for play with these guys at uh, Hard Times Billiards. I want to thank the San Gabriel Valley APA League as well. Without these sponsors, this tournament wouldn't be happening. As with Pius products and promotions, be sure to look out for the new Pius brand excellence phenolic ball polish. You can view the brackets and the results for this event and for the 10 ball event starting tomorrow at compusport.ca or follow the link on our real-time feed page at pobpool.com. POB Pool is powered by Reanimac and by Automated Entertainment. And we also have... Uh, 
Marty Carey Jump Q sponsoring the event. Thanks a lot, guys. Wayne just said, well, it was fun. Looks like Wayne, Wayne's battle is over here. Let's see what Rodney can do. There's one. Yeah, Rodney might get out right here. Yeah, he really might. There's two. ball is going to hang on the rail. No problem for him. He could still make it. <clears throat> uh, I don't know if he's going to go for it. Because if he misses, he'll sell out. of hope for Wayne Pollen. With all these heavy hitters, <coughs> with all these heavy hitters in town, you think we might get a little action tonight? I'd love to see some action tonight. And, uh, and to be honest with you, you know, in the light of everything that happened uh, today, with the pushing back of the ten ball tournament, I'm willing to commit to uh, streaming some of it. Ten ball, nine ball, whatever anybody wants to play. Well, after this match here, I'm going to step aside and get me a bite to eat. Have you ate already? No, we haven't eaten yet. Looks like I might have to. You got a date with somebody? Oh, no. I'm going to stop in there and get me a hot dog from oh, Hard just Times. A hot dog? Yeah. Where at? Right here. Oh, right here. <laughs> Is that Spencer over there on table eight? Chris Robinson's friend? Yeah, that is Spence. I'm sorry, on eight? On eight. That is, um, um, that is Randy Hatton from Charlotte, North Carolina. Eight, not seven. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. Oh yeah, that's the young uh, Spencer Layden.
four to nothing. Four for Rodney, zero for Wayne. Four to three is the count. Four is the count. No, two, four, six. No, it's not. Four to four, seven on the table. Race to two. The loser of this third place. Wayne is trying to stick this one out. Move the ball to his side. Protected that ball. He got away with it. Ball count. Four piece. 
breaks to two. He was trying to bring that ball back down. I think that 12 ball is too far up for him to try to carry him in. Wayne is uh, moving balls, trying to wait on Rodney. Good shot by Rodney. That six ball is causing Wayne a little thought. Wayne's taking his time. He's trying to be, uh, he's trying to win it. He tried to move the three ball. And he might have got lucky there. 
trying to run a three ball. He might have got lucky. Rodney thinking about lobbing that six ball down there. Cut the 13 down there. Oh, beautiful shot. If that ball fall, game over. Back to dinner. <laughs> we could go get a bite to eat after this, maybe. I'm starving. I haven't eaten all day. Really? with the great box so I may end up getting uh, some, <laughs> something with a little bone on it <laughs> so here we are close to the finals I don't want to get into this during the final match so I'll just ask you now what did you think of the first hard times one pocket open so far I believe it was a nice event. I wish we had more spectators. Mm -hmm. But the pool gods were not with us on this one from the beginning. Mm -hmm. Be it as it may, one pocket is one pocket. And if only one person showed up, I'd have still loved it. It's one pocket. Mm -hmm. Hopefully we learn from this one and do better the next time. We definitely did learn from this one, you know, you know. But I, I, I want to say that I, I was very impressed with the quality of the field that Ooh. came to play. Now that was that was definitely something good. Yes, it was. And it's still not over. We got ten ball to go. Yeah, yeah. And we've opened it up to sixty four. Uh, and, well, what I mean is we opened it up. We opened up the uh, sign-ups till tomorrow. So, but you're right. You know, from the beginning, th there were forces at work that were just didn't want this to happen. <laughs> yeah, yeah. The power outage. Uh, Tom uh, SoCal Edison coming in to change the power pole in the parking lot. The whole pole. The whole pole. Like, hey. <laughs> We're shutting the power down all day to the building. <laughs> the church can have power. The 99 cent store can have, have power. power. <laughs> but not hard times. <laughs> no, exactly. <laughs> Is hard times the only one connected to the pole? <laughs> Man, the conspirators were hard at work on this one, weren't they? Rodney playing the cue ball. As he does so well. What is young Chris doing back there? Young Chris must have a wager going on because he's got a gallery back there. Oh, is he playing the ghost? Maybe he is. No, he's or playing he somebody playing sitting somebody there. Else? Who is he playing? 
He's got a contingency back there, a gallery. Yeah, there are some. There's a lot of sweating going on over there. Mm -hmm. so that's, that means it can't be for free. I feel bad for the guy playing Chris, that's for sure. I'll say that in advance. Because uh, Chris's backer is here too, and he's got a pocket full of money. That's why he's back there doing his thing. Mm -hmm. Chris just ran the table. Which means we don't get to see his opponent because he will stay in the dark in his chair. Mm -hmm. Meanwhile, we got ourselves a hell of a match here between Rodney and Wayne. That was a good, good shot. shot. Jacked up over the 12. Five to five. This looks good. No, it's going to come off the long rail. At that angle, it had no chance once it hit. Greg Harada is playing Chris Robinson. Hmm. Greg's been in uh, China for the last uh, six months. He's been playing a lot of players in China. They might be playing a little something. Oh, yeah, they got something going on. Yeah. Um, baby Huey, you know. Jerry Matchin. Meachin. Matchin. <laughs> yeah, he left the tournament saying, <laughs> you know, you couldn't have been on a easy side of the bracket. There was no easy side of the bracket for this tournament. Both both sides of the bracket were hard. Well, what did he say? It says right here in the in this comment. He's, and he said he played hard too. He said he had, he had the tough side of the bracket, but he said both sides were filled with top players. And, uh, and he played his heart out, too. He, he got in the top eight players. But according to who, Jerry? Uh, Jerry, yeah. Top eight, top nine or something. 
didn't come in the money because we only paid through to six players. But, you know, for Jerry Matchin to say that, that's, that's really saying something. Saw him outside before he went home. He was tired. He was, you know, I mean, they, they worked him over the coals, man. It's 8 o'clock, 8.30, and people are still here watching this one pocket. And there's still another one pocket match left. Yeah, the finals. Rafael still in the hot seat. Ronnie looking at that three ball like he want to bank it. Gonna come off the six. Watch your cue ball now. Yeah, John makes a good point. He's protecting the 14, which is down at the end rail there. Rodney shoot. Yeah, he'll shoot at this, you think? Yeah, that's going to do it. Wayne Pullen takes third place, $525. We're going to get the final started right now between Rodney the Rocket, Morris, and Rafael Martinez. We're going to take probably a five-minute break. Thanks again to our sponsors, Andy Cloth, APA, uh, San Gabriel Valley APA. Kamui Tips and Chalk. Tiger Products. Marty Carey's Jump Cue. And Pius. Check out the brackets on compusport.ca. We'll be right back with the final match. Rodney Morris versus Rafael Martinez. Race to four, one pocket. <laughs> 